Hey guys, welcome back to Creative Java Programming. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can install Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java and web developers. So open your favorite browser and just search for Eclipse for Java double E. Why? Eclipse for Java double E? Because I want Eclipse for enterprise application. So what do you mean by enterprise application? I want to develop a web application. I should be able to use in Eclipse, not just Java. Eclipse should also have the feature to use Spring Boot, Hibernate, JDBC, HTML, GSV and all that right don't download eclipse for java alone so just type eclipse for java double e hit on enter so when we we hit on enter go to their official website which you see this here i am just clicking on that now you observe we have eclipse id for java double e developers so here you can see given download links or directly you can install from this link download your favorite desktop id package but i am going to click on download packages click on that Here, you can see that Eclipse ID for Enterprise Java and Web Developers. I need this, this one, right? So, there are variety of Eclipse ID, right? Eclipse ID for Java Developers, Eclipse ID for C, C++ Developers, Eclipse ID for Eclipse Committers, Eclipse ID for Java and DSL developers, Eclipse ID for PHP developers, C++ developers, right? So there are a variety of Eclipse, right? So click upon your OS, you can install. So I am using 64 bit operating system. So I will click on Windows 64 bit, right? So if you are using Linux, you can download from this link right if you are using mac os so this is these are the links given right so just click on windows 64 bit how we can check which uh, os we are using so just click on this pc go to properties and see here i am using system type 64 bit operating system right so if if you are using 32 bit you need to download 32 bit and if you are using 64 bit operating system you need to download according to that so i am using 64 bit just click on that so just click on download button now you can see download as begin started right here you can see eclipse id for enterprise java and web developers it is used for developers working with java and web applications including a java id tools for java script type script java server pages that is called jsv YML, web services, JPF is for database, Maven, Gradle, Git, and more. Right? So here you can see Eclipse for Java double E is downloaded, right? So copy that it is in the form of GIF file. So copy 
and uh, go to your C R D drive where you want to save, right? So I am going to in my D drive, and here I will create a folder and give name Java J two double E I D Eclipse I D. Paste this here, here. Extract that file. Just right click on that. See here, extract here. Click on that. Now you can see here one folder is cre created. That is Eclipse, right? Double click on that. Now you can see here Eclipse application, right? So double click on that. Now you can see our Eclipse ID going to launch, right? So Eclipse ID is never installed. It is in the form of zip file. We have to only extract that file and directly we have to use it. So it's taking time. First time it will take time to launch the Eclipse. So now here it's asking us select a directory as workplace. What do you mean by workplace? Workplace is a folder where we will save our all the projects and programs, right? So browse that. And I want to uh, save my projects and uh, programs in D drive, right? So create here new folder. Control Shift N, press Control Shift N, and new folder will be created. So give name J two double E projects. Select folder. Just click on Launch. Eclipse is started, right? So this is the welcome page, Eclipse ID for Enterprise Java and the developers. So close that one. And uh, firstly, we have to set the path of JDK, right? So first, we need to change this theme, right? So just click on window, go to preferences. Here, go to general. And here we have to just click on appearance and here you can see theme, right? So select light and just click on apply and restart. Launch the Eclipse. So here you can see our theme is changed, right? So first we need to uh, set the path of JDK, right? So go to window. Go to preference and here in search word type JRE, right? And now you can see here install JRE. Just click on that. Here you can see it's showing default, right? So just click on add button, select standard VM, click on next button, JRE home, click on directory button. Go to C drive and go to in C drive, go to program files, and here you can see your name Java, right? So here you can see JDK 1.8. Click on that and till win, right? And select. Just click on finish button. And here untick the JRE and click on, select on this one. Program files Java JDK 1.8, right? Apply. Apply and close. Right 
now just go to file select new new go to project right new and project and here you can see our type java project select java project click on next button so here you can see use an space use an education environment js yes. java se 1.8 and jdk 1.8 so there are two types of jdk one is from oracle and one is from open jdk right so we need to select that we have downloaded from oracle jdk 1.8 right so uj project specific jdk jdk 1.8 give project name so give project name i am giving project name java app underscore one right just click on finish no here you can see file explorer is show view show console so project explorer right click on that now you can see java app is created jre system library jdk 1.8 right so go to src press control n and type package create a folder package means folder so i am giving project name here let's type creative java underscore programming right click on finish button select create java programming here just create a class type class give class name a right now so maximize this uh, window just press control and plus button now you can maximize the window right so for main method we have to only type m a and press control and space bar to space bar enter right main method get so and for sop y s o press control space bar enter give pass message here thanks for watching right and to run the program we have to click on this icon run as right now you can see it's giving me all thanks for watching so before installing eclipse id make sure you have installed jdk 8 in your system 